Well, let's speak now to Ken O'Keefe, one of those accused by the Israeli military of being involved in terrorist activity on that very press release, which I was telling you about earlier. He now joins us on the line. Thanks so much for joining us. Were you going to Gaza to train a commando unit for, as this press release says, the Palestinian terror organization Hamas? I was going to Gaza back in 2004 to arrange a deal and try and broker a deal between the resisting factions and Israel to try and effect a ceasefire on the terms that we would get 10,000 international observers into Palestine to act as a deterrent to Israeli aggression and help document any human rights violations or acts of aggression. That is why I was going to Gaza. All right, that was 2004. On this trip or any other trip, have you tried to set up a, a commando training unit for Hamas? Uh, that is absolutely absurd. I would like for people to take a close look at my record. I have stood firm against war. I renounced my U.S. citizenship in 2001 precisely because I am opposed to American imperialism and war, which results in massive death and suffering. Have you ever been a member of Hamas? I've never been a member of Hamas, but I have met with people within Hamas. I have met with Ismail Haniyeh. And I have every right to meet with anyone I choose to meet. But well, let me ask you, why, why did you meet with Ismail Haniya? I met with Ismail Haniya actually to try and broker a relationship between the Palestinian government and the Hawaiian government. I was a member of the Hawaiian government as a legislator. And while I was a legislator, I, brokered, I wrote two laws. One, binding the Hawaiian government to nonviolence. And two, banning weapons of mass destruction in Hawaii upon reaching their independence once again. Have you ever carried weapons for Hamas? I have never carried any weapons for Hamas. The only weapons I've ever carried were while I was a U.S. Marine serving in the Gulf War. All right, let's talk about now. These allegations have come literally within, within minutes, if not an hour. Um, you are now in Turkey. When you were in Israeli custody, did Israeli agents accuse you of being an operative Hamas who was about to set up and train a commando unit. Not only did they not ask me, but it seems to me like the Israeli intelligence are a bunch of bumbling, bumbling idiot keystone cops. If they had a supposed terrorist in their possession, why the hell did they let me go? All right, so, well, that's a question perhaps we'll try and pose to the Israelis. But uh, just to clarify, you were not interrogated in any way uh, about allegations that you were setting up a Hamas training unit. Absolutely not. Right. Did you, did you join this boat? These allegations, of course, come after Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, said that he has information. People bent on violence joined the boat after it had set off illegally. Did you join the boat, the aid flotilla, after it had set off? I joined, I joined the boat in Antalya with the vast majority of all the passengers on that ship. And I assume you went through the security screening process? As did every single person, I also went through that process. Did anyone suggest at that screening process that you might have links to terrorist organizations? No, because they're a lot smarter than the Israelis, because I have made my position absolutely clear. I am opposed to violence on all levels except in self-defense, and I proudly join my Palestinian brothers and sisters who seem to be deemed terrorists simply for being Palestinian. Well, let me ask you an, uh, another question, Ken. We've seen video released by the Israeli authorities of what appears to be people um, hitting Israeli soldiers with bars. Uh, were, did you participate in anything like that? The bottom line is that even Gandhi, and I ask everyone who thinks they know about Gandhi, even Gandhi said it was better for the Indian people to use violence rather than act as cowards and allow the honor of the Indian nation to be defamed by the British colonialists. We defended ourselves. I had in my possession one of the Israeli weapons. I had a pistol in my hand. I could have easily used that pistol and killed the soldier who we disarmed. We had three Israeli soldiers completely in our power, completely disarmed, and we let them go. That's the fact. The Israelis are the murderers. We are the defenders, not only of ourselves, the ship, the cargo, but the Palestinian people, human rights and justice in general. All right, but just to clarify, so you participated in the disarming of an Israeli soldier, correct? That's correct. I helped to disarm and actually took possession of one of the Israeli uh, commandos' pistols. And what did you do with that pistol? 
I took that weapon, I removed the bullets, and they were real bullets, by the way, not rubber-coated bullets. I separated the bullets from the weapon, and the whole point of that was to try and keep those weapons, should we get away, and use that as evidence against the Israelis, which, of course, they have all the evidence now, don't they? Did you or anyone else shoot at Israelis with weapons they had disarmed from them? Absolutely not. As I told you, I took that weapon from an Israeli commando, had it in my possession with him right in front of me. If I wanted to use it, I can assure you I could have ended his life right there without any problem at all. But I'm not a murderer. In fact, I'm absolutely opposed to violence in every case except self-defense. And my life has been a testament to my belief in nonviolence and resolving conflict without violence and having a just and peaceful world. All right. Uh, there's, there's lots more questions to be asked, but uh, we must move on. Thanks so much, Ken O'Keefe.